Well, new at 530 big changes to how emergency vehicles will respond in Mecklenburg County, and this is your chance to let medic know what you think about it. The EMS uh, agency is now holding public meetings to discuss its plan reevaluation of incoming calls for help, and in some cases, the response will take longer. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker explains. You never call 911 on your best day. In that moment, you want speed, but the department says sometimes speed isn't necessary. Medicaid County Fire, what's the address of the emergency? If you're ever in a crisis in Mecklenburg County and need to be transported to the hospital, you'll probably use Medic. And as the county grows, it's looking to make changes. We're here really just to engage in conversation with community members to make sure everybody knows. Uh, what it is that's going to change. The big questions to answer, who, what, where, and why. We know it's happening in Mecklenburg County, which leads us to why. Uh, 10 years ago, we started using nurse advice lines on very low acuity calls, and then the pandemic really brought this all to a head. And we noticed that we had a really large increase in very, very sick patients and patients that were not very sick at all. Which leads us to who is impacted. We're going to have a set of mid-low acuity calls with a 30-minute response time target. Some of those will receive first responders. And then we'll have uh, and retain a 60-minute response time target like we operate today, uh, where paramedics will uh, arrive on scene within a reasonable period of time to assess very low acuity patients and help them really navigate the healthcare system. The most important things for folks to remember is that the highest risk patients with life threatening injuries or symptoms are going to receive the same 10 minute and 59 second response times with lights and sirens. For this 60 minute target time for low risk patients, no lights and sirens will be used. Paramedics can assist a situation and help a patient navigate alternative healthcare options. So what's the change? We're going to have a safer response in our community because we're going to turn our red lights and sirens off on those 15 minute responses unless a paramedic says, you know, this call really needs uh, a red lights and sirens. That then removes the 12 minute and 59 second response time for mid-level calls with hopes of getting resources to high risk patients at a much needed and valuable time. In Mecklenburg County, Austin Walker, WCNC Charlotte.